Welcome to Pronghorn National Park, the newest park in the Prairie's ecozone designed to protect the pronghorn antelope. The admission fee is $10 for adults and $8 for children and seniors. You can learn about wildlife, terrain, and vegetation from various guided tours in the park. Most people think that the prairies is just flat, boring land and is only good for agriculture. But Pronghorn National Park will show you a side of the prairies you've never experienced before. The vegetation of the prairies consists of tall grass prairie, wild barley, and many more types. The trees are mainly deciduous, such as black spruce, trembling aspen, and white spruce. The mountains to the west block much of the precipitation that would otherwise fall. That and the high winds make this ecozone very dry, although precipitation does generally increase towards the east. Temperatures are extreme due to the lack of access to the ocean's buffering. Winter temperatures average negative 10 degrees Celsius and summers average 15 degrees Celsius. In the northern section, the South Saskatchewan River divides the park into two pieces. This river is crucial to a lot of wildlife in this region. In it, you may find the yellow perch, the northern pike, carp, gold eye, grassy minnow, and sauger. In order to maintain the ecosystem, fishing is not permitted. In order to see the other part of Pronghorn National Park, a free ferry service is provided. There is an abundant amount of wildlife in this region. Mammals include the pronghorn antelope, which is the namesake of this park, the black bear, the red fox, The moose, the prairie dog, and the beaver. Birds include the burrowing owl. Red-tailed hawk, the ferruginous hawk, the great blue heron, and the duck. Speaking of which, the prairie's eagle zone has half the ducks in North America. Reptiles and amphibians include the western rattlesnake and various frog species. Thank you for touring Pronghorn National Park. We hope you enjoyed your stay.